Well, good evening once again. We begin tonight with another step toward closure for the city of Buffalo and its fire department. Nearly two weeks after one of the city's bravest died in a fire at 745 Main Street, that building will now come down. Four alarm flames broke out on March 1st. 37-year-old Jason Arno died in the fire. And in the following days, local and federal investigators worked their way through the building to try and understand its cause. Now that the investigation is over, I went back to the scene today to find out how these next steps will unfold. The building is structurally compromised, so they're going to do this slowly and methodically. The emergency demolition of the shell of a building at 745 Main Street underway Tuesday afternoon, nearly two weeks after the fatal fire that took the life of Buffalo firefighter Jason Arno. We expect about a week for the building to be completely demolished and then a, a second week of sorting and loading out material. Kathy Amder is the Commissioner of Permit and Inspection Services for the City of Buffalo. She says Empire Dismantlement, a local company, is handling the demolition. We'll start at the top with their excavator, their long reach, take it down in the center and bring the sides in to protect adjacent properties. What can people expect this looking like? So it will be graded so it's level with uh, with the sidewalks and then they'll they will seed it and uh, plant grass seed. Meantime, the 700 block of Main Street has been closed to traffic since the day of the fire. The emergency demolition will further impact traffic and the several businesses close by, at least for the next several days. It's obviously odd to have that block shut down. Rory Allen is the owner of Zoom Buffalo, a business that's operated on the 700 block of Main, just a couple doors down from the fire for close to 20 years. Whenever there's a loss of life, especially near your business, you're, um, you know, it's a, any complaints that I have about my business being uh, troubled by this are just pale in comparison. Allen says Zoom Buffalo was forced to close down for a few days, but outside of the lack of traffic, it's back to being operational. Allen hopes the 700 block can rebound following such a terrible loss. It's yet to be told. We're hopeful that we can overcome this tragedy. And it's hard to say exactly what this will mean for the block. Obviously, there's a scar there. With the demolition now underway, the investigation led by Buffalo Fire and the ATF into the cause of this fatal fire has now been handed over to the Erie County District Attorney's Office for further review.